Establishing video uplink. Hey there, new girl. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hmm, bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well, speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know, the SSN anchor, is some sort of free star sympathizer. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Yes? Safe return to the Lodge will please the other members of Constellation. I hope Barrett makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time, and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still... We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to.
we have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. If we watch each other's backs, we'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard Recruiting Office, where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? By the way, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Apparently, he's got some work. 
Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ugh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Whoa, where have I heard that line before? No, oh, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. <laughs> I surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right, here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian. Born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Well, I'll be. Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, daughter, but I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? Now, now. It's just with our family, the news isn't always great, but... Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? My child is a member of Constellation. I just knew you were special. Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. Oh, 
Oh, say again. I should record that and play it back. Mom, you were right. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. And your room is just a mess. Although that's how you left it. Easy, honey. Let the girl catch her breath. Why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. I'm planning a grocery run later. Might get some things you like. I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. So, I gotta ask, is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him or me waiting too long. I, I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. It's complicated. Maybe one day I'll get into it. But neither of us mind moving. I think we both have a bit of nomad in us. I think, though, New Atlantis is our forever home. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? Oh, ain't that the truth. With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. And of all the places we've lived, New Atlantis is just so full of culture and life. Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's just happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. I missed you so much. They are darling. not used to anyone saying no. Not one bit. When I go to sleep, I got a clean conscience. I still you don't can't know believe where it. That is? Constellation. No, I moved. The stories make the them seem so exotic, so ago. well, romantic you pay almost. Attention. How is it for real? You liking it? It's funny how you can live years where the days all blend together. But then out of the blue, whammo, everything's different. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. Look at that smart mouth. Where on earth could you have gotten that from? <laughs> Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? <sighs> I'd like to say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. 
Not that I mind. Take care, kiddo. Flamenco. What? Fl who? Flamenco. Or we could do... Look who decided to rejoin the world. The activity would do you good. But dancing? I mean, couldn't we... I don't know, do... Oh, yes. Anything. All right. Dancing it is. But something beginner-friendly. Like fit for a toddler. Of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the gnat. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Hey, need some work done? Sure, I've had it.
I'm sure you can find something you like. How about it?
been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Goodbye. Time to get this ship moving. How do you think this adventure is going? Fantastic. A moment in time will treasure forever. I'm thinking all three. spot in this rather drab city. Leeches in the engines, leeches on the hull, multiple leeches in the crab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So what's this going to run? Sidonia completely underground was a class. Marsh Martian landscape. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How 
work in the deep mines. That's where you make the big books. Thought we'd struck oil, but it turns out it was just another deep Get a lot of new faces passing through here. Got cold beers and good atmosphere. Not much more you could ask for. What's your poison? He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Sounds about right, yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not too late to catch a ride back then.
that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. Attention! There's no business like show business. Don't throw stones in glass houses without proper protection. That is all. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away.
Chip will be thrilled to see you. I'll head to my crew position. Good day, Captain. Two steps in. Already looking at a corpse. Okay. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive.
I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to them too. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Much better odds destroying one of their ships than fighting them all at once here. Warm up the engines. I need more hobbies. Writing about you, thinking about you, talking about you. That's three right there.
recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Got the rockets. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here. Happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. But I got. What I got I a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it?
Mind if we stop by the waterfall on this trip? I could use a few moments to unwind. <laughs> we have it. Now Go this, ahead. Do the this. Is history. There's just so much to, to do in this. New Atlantis. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. Their father was bragging for hours. You're I welcome anytime. It was all right and I, mean I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I have some vids of when I was, um, 12 in my Constellation Halloween outfit. <laughs> so embarrassing. But I found space so fascinating that there is still so much we don't know. I guess I still find it that way. I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the Dean of Engineering, and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation, well, we worked together to get the piece clean and restored. She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying... May I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. All the special modifications just as he left him. He was chair of Consolation about uh, 50 years ago. Anyway, it's yours. I hope it keeps you safe. If not, maybe get a good place for it on a mantle. Well, we'll let you get back to it, but, um, uh, Miss Noel said we could look around a little first. Miss Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Actually, Mr. Cookies? What type? I make a mean snickerdoodle. Yes, I, um, think that would be quite all right. It fits! Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive... I've been to the top of the mountain! And I'm going back. Pleading for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. How would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Bye for now.
wonder what she's... And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is, in a way. Like, more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery-class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. We're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming.
What can I help you with? If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. If you don't see what you want, feel free to ask. Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile.
Don't leave any of that behind. Bobby Blabby Shooby Dooby Wooba Ooby Clooby Pooby. Spacers all over the damn place. 
place there. Distress call, yammering non-stop. Something big's going down there, and all of us with no skin in the game? Yes, we just give it a wide berth. <laughs> Am I right? Charlie Three, you are looking to pay it forward like big time. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you you're crazy, but... Wow. Bye, Charlie Three. You've been like the best Charlie Three I've talked to all week. The moth to your flame, the magnet to your fridge, the lint in your pocket! <laughs> yes! How close should I follow you? Two meters behind? One meter? Less than one meter? I just want to make sure you've got enough space, emotionally. Okay, you won't even know I'm here. I'll get back to what I was doing. You know where to find me.
Ugh. Thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some Free Star Militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. When comms was overrun, I did a tactical retreat to this... This, uh... Yeah, this utility closet. Hey, I'm just glad I'm in one piece. You and me both. Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the... And I can't believe I'm saying this. The UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. No arguments here. So first things first. The makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. <coughs> they set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and... Well, you get the picture. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one.
is Alma. UC Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... I'm... <sighs> and meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we're crashing. We've lost too many good soldiers and scientists to the Spacers. But everyone here is stable and will recover. Assuming we can clear the outpost of Spacers. I'm a battlefield medic, so this, uh, outpost? Well, it's luxury accommodations. What the heck are you guys doing here anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes, astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. No, they've, they've been trying to take over the whole system for months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. This is it. What, you think she's a spacer? She's the one that cleared him out. I will treat any patient in my care to the best of my ability. No matter who they are. Why? I just keep asking myself, why?
gone. Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Wait, you're serious? You did all of that? We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. I... I don't care. Her men have risked their lives, died for us. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. But... how? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. Let's do this. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Like I said, someone's been taking out the spacers. I... I don't believe it. pinned down if it weren't for them. Wow. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? What, the explorers? I didn't know you guys packed such a punch. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Paduk Pass. Best damn Marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. The Captain and all her Marines? Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. Look around. Nobody here is my enemy. Torres and his men, 
They're just poor SOBs posted in the arse end of nowhere. Just like my Marines. We have more in common with each other than the damn politicians back home. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here, but it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. <coughs> but they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Give me a few years and I'd make you a Marine to be feared. <laughs> I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spaces could take them out. I can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps... Take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. They went dark not too long ago, so hopefully they are still survivors. Just go quickly and safely.
That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. You got head down. Well, 
would make a claim like Can that. I ask the first oh, look, you want to throw your money I away, I'd be happy to take it. The captain. Otherwise, will organize we'll let everyone it go away. Like One day, we're Are going to sure system up and test your this theory. Really I just hope you're ready for some count. serious disappointment. Ah, the friendly captains agreed. Let's try and leave a good impression. First question. Is being a ship captain non-stop thrills and excitement like living in that movie Return of the Interceptor? Oh, I was kind of hoping there would be thrills all over the place. I am sure the captain is really busy and may not have time for all your questions. If you can afford your very own ship, you must be super well off. You single? Oh dear lord. Uh, we have to move along. Next, next. Last question. Let... Space is a lawless mess. If you could make the damn politicians fix one thing about it, what'd it be? for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, Two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> 
I didn't overhear everything. But after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Try fixing that computer? Go ahead. Yes, my captain. Back to work then. Captain, captain, do you require my assistance? Yes, captain. Such a height is dangerous for your endoskeleton.
you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? What? Really? Not really cut out for whatever it is people like you and Barrett do, but it might not be a bad time to think about a career change after all this. If you have room in your crew for an outpost supervisor, maybe we can talk. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything, but yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh... Get a load of this! Need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. tries to pinch me, I will smack them in the face. I do. This object reminded me of how well you relate to everyday people. You're just like the rest of us, only better. Being part of your crew is just the best. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it.
Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Bye. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. I will see you at a later time. We'll try to keep out of your hair while we're en route. Yeah, I was done too. Is something on your mind? And is it? Can't real? believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. He always finds a way. Damn it. I'll see you later. You've got something for me? Always. I'd prefer to stay with you. Something I can help you with, Dusty? 